The food at Los Lupes Mexican restaurant is served hot and fast. But the traffic outside does not always move so smoothly. It's very dangerous road right now. Business people along State Highway 183 gathered at Los Lupes to learn the latest on plans to expand the road. Update them on timelines, property acquisition, uh, right of way issues. How is the construction going to affect our business? I hope that everyone can benefit from it. The meeting was packed. People heard from Irving City staff members working on the expansion project. They are eager to let the business community know that the city is their partner in working with TxDOT and trying to make sure that their business needs are met. This TxDOT animation shows that each direction of Highway 183 will have four free main lanes and two managed toll lanes. The service roads will be two to three lanes. Early stages of construction are already underway. By the uh, Plymouth Park subdivision, they're actually rebuilding the frontage road to its ultimate design. Sound walls are also under construction. They will be installed in sections where neighborhoods border the highway and feature a Mustang theme. The goal is to get them finished first to help block any construction noise. But one of the big questions on the minds of people here is when they will see the reconstruction of the highway itself. Well, right now it's just the sound walls. I can't tell you what's going to happen next. The project had been stopped because there's just not enough money to build the road currently. Recent action in Austin may make the timeline more clear in the near future. Legislation introduced by State Representative Linda Harper-Brown will allow bringing private money into the funding mix. The public-private partnership that will take place now on 183, we're very hopeful, will be an agreement that everyone uh, will be uh, pleased with. We don't know yet what that will be. That is because TxDOT still has to choose a vendor, then contracts have to be drawn up to determine the specifics of the partnership. That is expected by 2015. While that may sound far down the road, the project does bring funding and action to an otherwise stalled project. This will absolutely move this project forward. It's positive for the city of Irving's going to help get this project on the ground quicker. Our cameras have captured the demolitions of many buildings along 183. TxDOT has secured about 65 percent of the land it needs for the expanded highway. I can understand it looks rather vacant out there, but when you bring the building down, if anything, it keeps a code enforcement issue from occurring. It keeps vagrancy from happening or some or graffiti or any other things which could be a blight on the actual roadway. Many businesses, such as this Whataburger restaurant, successfully relocated to new locations along 183. We want to keep all of the businesses on 183 somewhere in the city. All of them may not be able to go back right where they were on 183, but uh, the chamber is a resource to help them identify locations where they can relocate within the city. Los Lupes Mexican Restaurant used to be located on this land. The owner committed to staying in Irving. We have a very good customer base here. And now that it is open at its new location in Irving Mall, business is up. It's uh, increased by about uh, 22 percent. Owner Joe Michael Ramirez appreciates the city's help during the relocation process. We have restaurants in Carrollton and Dallas and in Addison and, and by far uh, this has been uh, probably the easiest to work with. Now he is planning to move the company's headquarters to Irving and open a banquet hall here. But he and many others are ready to see action from the state. Action that will turn this outdated, overcrowded highway into one that will provide easy access to their businesses. It's um, unusual that a city gets an opportunity to uh, actually have a second shot at a major corridor in their city and so we're excited about that and we want to make it a benefit to all of our business customers and the city as a whole.